Today I am going to show you how to do conditional formatting in Report Builder 6i. As uh, if you have experience in Excel doing conditional formatting, the same thing is being is done here. Uh, but uh, <coughs> there is a difference that in this uh, Report Builder you can do it uh, from the GUI uh, or uh, I also I can show you the code behind the PLSQL code written as soon as I to mm, do the conditional formatting from front end. So first let us do the conditional formatting from the front end from the GUI and let's see we are going to do this conditional formatting on this this is a matrix report and this is the this is a column this is the column, this is the row and this is the intersection of the column and row that is the cell value which is net pay. So I have selected a net pay and on this net pay I will do the conditional formatting. So click on click on format go to conditional formatting click on new Now see, here are all the options given on which you can do the conditional formatting. You can do it on payment year, you can do it on section name. So I am going to do the conditional formatting on a numeric value which is the net pay. The first one is I say, uh, just look at the value. The value is ranging from, just a moment, let's start again. Okay, the value is ranging from near about uh, uh, I check 0 to 10 lakhs something like that this is a department wise um, month wise payment of a so salary payment of some company some industry factory I'm sorry so I take it from 0 see if the net pay is between 0 and 10,000 then what I will do uh, let's take uh, red red suppose red yes so go to, you can go to the font also and I'll make it bold Uh, you can also give the fill color so so this is the fill color uh, let the background color be as it is uh, also set it this the same now see ok ok now see I press apply look at this ok so the all the values which range from 0 to 10,000 is been set the format as I have given here so let's look it a little better good looking I'll put a good border here yeah next one I will take another new condition which will be from 10,001 to 1 lakh <coughs> 1 lakh so for this I will take blue fill color I will take uh, say what I will take green and this one is precisely a dark color so ok apply see and the next one from 1 lakh 1 to unlimited value 1 lakh then more 0 no ok so suppose then 
thousand more lakh ten lakh. So for this I will take pink. Okay, fine. Uh, let it be. Let it be. Let it be. This one, good one. And again, add a border. Okay. See. So how it's looking like? Uh, so if you generate a report and you want to precisely mark uh, the values. Uh, mark with colors the values depending suppose this it's a grade suppose uh, you are giving some grade grade a b c okay so you can do condition formatting go to new okay In, instead of <coughs> instead of net pay you take your own value suppose pay month year instead of between you can say Said equal equals, and you if if it is equals zero one two zero zero nine, then let it do. Let's do it nine. Then blue. Okay, see. Now what happens see when I am giving this blue color on pay month here so what happens since this is the heading of this cell okay see since it is it is the heading okay it all the values belongs to this month so when I am setting color to this 012009 so it's taking all the it's, it's overriding its base conditional formatting which is this this one so it is overriding and setting this suppose see uh, now I delete this one now it's plus apply you can see so in the same way if you do condition formatting on section name suppose uh, let us condition on sales if section name equals sales then what I will do I will take uh, say what a color orange fill color yep, say fill color say this one now see just look at the sales row what happens see all the base color is primary color of the cells has been override overridden with the conditional formatting of this row which belongs to cells again delete this one and see so this is the conditional formatting which you are doing the GUI now let's go to the PLS editor So here we are using an inbuilt package known as SRW. This is an inbuilt package of Oracle. So this is SRW. So what we are doing? If net pay between zero and ten thousand, SRW dot set foreground border color. This one. So SRW dot set border pattern solid. SRW dot set foreground fill color. This one set fill pattern this one whatever I have done is all is given here now see you can change the value from here you can also instead of going to GUI you can change the value from here say I make it say uh, 50,000 okay and here I make uh, 50,001 to uh, say 5 lakh and here I get 5 lakh 1 Total. Now what happens? I compile it. You can check it. You can check it. 
uh, you can check it by your own you can see what will happen so, say 50,000 to 1 lakh see all the values within the 50,000 are all of these colors and above 50,000 to 1 lakh move to 5 lakh see 1 lakh 19,000 for the, this one this one this is blue and above 5 lakh to 10 lakh see this color so let's again go to the PLS skill editor and see so later on we will come with more with conditional formatting if uh, and uh, this is just a beginning of how to you do condition for conditional formatting on your report builder I have started with GUI mm, to make it easy for you if I have started with the uh, straight from coding so it will be might have been difficult for you to understand so that's why I have started from GUI set it and now I am just trying to make you understand what is the actual code generated in the uh, same way you can write the format trigger yourself uh, from the beginning and compile it and see the result so that's all with the basic of conditional formatting in oracle report builder 6i thank you very much